Hello, welcome back, I'm Statman Dave, and today I'll be answering the question, who is Javier Guerra? Remember to subscribe if you're new, smash the like button, but anyway, let's get this party started. Born in Valencia, Spain on the 13th of May 2003, Javier Guerra Moreno is a Spain under-21 international who plays for Valencia. Guerra began his youth career at Villarreal, but was snapped up by Valencia in 2019. He spent little time adapting to life at the Mestalla, spending one season with the B team before moving to the A team, where he signed his first professional contract with the club in May 2021. Just over a week later, Guerra made his debut for the reserve team. Javier Guerra would go on to spend the majority of the 22-23 season in the reserve setup, where he made 25 appearances. In fact, the local lad started every match that he was in the squad for, only missing games because of involvement in the senior side. This ever presence earned him his senior debut in January 2023, appearing as a late substitute in the Copa del Rey round of 16. Three months later, he made his La Liga debut in a 2-0 defeat to Sevilla before appearing in every league match until the end of the season, scoring his first goal for the club to defeat relegation candidates Rayo Valladolid in the 93rd minute. Since then, Javier Guerra has become an integral part of the Valencia squad and has now gone on to make 19 appearances for the club, being directly involved in five goals. But where does he play? Javi Guerra is a central midfielder, but he's a new breed of Spanish number eight. Over the last decade, Valencia have produced a lot of top quality, small technical midfielders. Think David Silva, Juan Mata, Carlos Sola, or Pablo Hernandez. Guerra is almost the opposite and part of a new breed of Spanish midfielders. Still technically gifted, Guerra isn't a creative passer like Spain was blessed with in the 2010s, but in fact a physical, ball-carrying, box-to-box midfielder. Spanish football has been going through a transition over the last 10 years. Forget the possession-based tiki-taka football that dominated when Guardiola's Barcelona won the treble. There has been a shift. More sides now favour an aggressive workman-like 4-4-2 following the success of Diego Simeone's Atletico. Hence, we're now seeing the emergence of the Spanish box-to-box -box midfielder. Last season, it was Gabri Vega. This season, Javi Guerra has appeared at Valencia, both with very similar stats profiles. Standing around 6 foot 2 Guerra is a big presence on the pitch, which makes him stand out when you're watching him. Defensively, he's quite diligent. Valencia drop into a compact 4-4-2 without the ball, and Guerra sits on the centre. He gets about the pitch well and is quick to jump out of shape to put pressure on an opponent if they receive with their back to the youngster. If Guerra doesn't win the ball back, he'll quickly drop back into shape. His aggression makes him a good player for pressing traps or counter-pressing, but when he's faced up 1v1, Guerra can also be bypassed by technical opponents, something that's backed up by the stats. Despite winning 70% of his 1.83 tackles per 90, Javi Guerra managed to tackle dribblers just 40% of the time, which ranks him in the bottom 34% of central midfielders across Europe's top five leagues. Meanwhile, his tackles in the final third per 90 ranks him in the top 17%, highlighting his effectiveness as a presser in the high end of the pitch. When he's moving about the pitch, he can look laboured or gangly, but Guerra's got a real turn of pace and can operate at high intensity. Often he will look uninterested with the player ahead of him, but then he'll snap suddenly into action. Often following up a received pass with a quick ball, combined with a burst of speed as he looks to connect with a 1-2. His ability to add dynamic thrust into an attack from almost a standing start is very dangerous and can really open up the game for Valencia. Often he uses first touch in creative ways to beat the first challenge and create a gap where he can surge into. In fact, Guerra's 2.05 successful dribbles per 90 ranks in the top 2% of central midfielders across Europe's top five leagues, whilst his 2.43 progressive carries puts him in the top 13%. More of a finishing number eight than a playmaker, Guerra rarely gets involved in the build-up play for Valencia. When he does receive, he's pretty safe on the ball, using short passing to keep the ball moving. Guerra's best attributes in long spells of possession is his ability to identify and attack space, 
and he can often be found making runs into the channels or moving behind the opposition's midfield into number 10. However, if the space is in midfield, he will hold his position. This spatial awareness can be very dangerous in the final third. Aguero makes good runs in behind the defence, notably on the laps. But his goal against Almeria really sums up where his game is at. After regaining possession for Valencia, Di Carbi finds Guerra deep in his own half. The 20-year-old surges through the gears to lead the counter-attack, carrying to the edge of the final third. His pass to Almeida is overhit, but the number 10 finds Perez. Perez dribbles back inside and then slips Guerra in behind with a through ball who picks out the bottom corner superbly. This goal allows Guerra to show off his dynamic ball carrying, which ultimately creates a dangerous 5v5 for Valencia, but a poor short pass almost causes the attack to break down. However, instead of dwelling, Guerra finds space superbly, first on the edge of the box, then after Perez cuts inside and draws the attention of the central midfielder. Guerra attacks this new space in behind and calmly strokes the ball home. If Guerra can improve his passing, he could be one hell of a player, because he's already a great finisher. All four of his senior goals have been fantastically mature finishes, with his goal against Atletico Madrid the pick of the bunch, as he literally passed the ball into the top corner from the edge of the penalty area. Granted, it's a small sample size, but per 90, Javi Guerra ranks in the top 1% of central midfielders for shots on target, non-penalty goals and goals minus expected goals, which basically means he scores at a far better rate than an average central midfielder in Europe's top five leagues. So what's next for the 20-year-old? With just under 1,000 professional minutes for Valencia, Javi Guerra is still an extremely young and experienced player. Despite possessing attributes that could carry him to the top, like impressive physicality, high levels of stamina, and the ability to carry past players with ease, Javi Guerra needs more time at Valencia where he can play week in, week out. Modern football is putting an even greater emphasis on dominating possession, with most teams wanting to play out from the back. In turn, this has largely led to wingers largely playing extremely wide roles and becoming creative, which has allowed goal-scoring number nines to return. In the past, 4-3-3s with three goal scorers up front was the meta, but now teams need goals from everywhere to support the number nine. The most logical avenue for goals is to have the players in the interior positions who have replaced the wingers to take up this mantle. Central midfielders in the mold of Javi Guerra are becoming more of a need rather than a bonus. Players who can support the build-up with good technical skills but arrive late into the box to put chances away. Think Ilkay Gundogan at Manchester City, who actually finished the 2021 season as the club's top goal scorer across all competitions. According to reports, he's been scouted by a number of top European clubs like PSG, Real Madrid and Barcelona. There have even been reports that Manchester United have sent scouts to all of his matches this season. Three of these moves make a lot of sense when you think about tactics that we have mentioned. PSG, Barcelona and Manchester United are all trying to use a possession-based approach with their wingers operating in extremely wide areas, allowing central midfielders to operate as interiors. Javi Guerra would be perfect for one of these goal-scoring interior positions. Real Madrid are a little bit different, but from their perspective, the move also makes sense. Setting up in a 4-4-2 diamond this season, Madrid's goals have basically been scored by centre-forward Jocelyn or number 10 Jude Bellingham. Adding another goal-scoring midfielder into the team would be a benefit, but in all likelihood, Javi Guerra would be back up to Fede Valverde a great goal-scoring midfielder. Whilst there is still definitely potential to play at Champions League level, his contract runs until 2027, which contains a huge 100 million euros release clause. For now, Javi Guerra needs to work on his own game so he can live up to that release clause, because there he can definitely become one of Europe's best goal-scoring midfielders. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Where should Javi Guerra's next move be? Get into the comments below. Should he join Manchester United or sign for one of the big Big clubs in Spain. I've been Statman Dave. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?